So there are many uh, tutorials on the web about what linear regression is, tutorials, there are YouTube videos, countless, some operating on a high level, some operating on a low level. Um, I went through a ton of them relentlessly um, until I reached a couple that really made sense to me. And so um, uh, I thought that it might be helpful if I went ahead and put together a series of videos explaining linear regression. Um, now that I've went through this this search and finally come to a place where I think I understand most of it um, and so this is my version of what is linear regression and what is it it is a uh, strategy in machine learning that is used to create a model that can be used to make a prediction all right and so what is machine learning machine learning is a, a set of strategies, a set of different algorithms that are used in different uh, types of uh, situations to make a prediction. Right? Linear regression is used in you know several types of situations and where it's most powerful and if you have a different type of situation like the data is a different type of data then you know you might not you not, might not use linear regression like for example if you had uh, a set of pictures with numbers in there Right. Um, we found where data scientists have found that neural networks solve that problem the, the most efficient right? um, to determine if a photo has a number two in it right? or a photo has a number seven in it. Right? And so linear regression would not work for that. Right? But if you had a different situation, like you were maybe trying to calculate what a home's selling price is going to be based on the selling prices of homes in the neighborhood, Right, then linear regression would be perfect, right? And that's exactly the, the algorithm that's used on like Willow.com and uh, you know ApartmentsForRent.com and Apartment.com. And so, how does it go? Well, we have this uh, x and y graph here, which uh, shows a dependent variable and an independent variable. A dependent variable is the um, is the variable that you are going to be given when you're trying to make a prediction. The independent variable is the value that you don't know when you're trying to make a prediction. So um, maybe for the housing example, the dependent variable would be the um, house house's uh, location. And then the, oh, maybe I could say and characteristics like number of bedrooms and bathrooms and all of that. And then the independent variable would be the selling price. Right. So yeah, that's one example. Um, maybe here's, whoa, sorry about that. Maybe here's one that hits a little closer to home. Um, we have here grades as the dependent variable, what's known, and the amount of studying time you need to achieve that grade. Right. So up here is an A, and how much study time will I need, or if, I have a, well, I guess w the way it would go is if I have a B, then what's the prediction on how much study time it, I, um, you know, I incorporated in my daily life. And so that would be how this linear regression algorithm would, uh, would run, right? You give it the, you, first of all, you're going to feed it all these different data points from different students, right? Maybe we can fill it up with all the data points of the students at San Marino High School. And they might have a D, and the study time might be uh, very low, right? So like right here. And then others might have an A, and the study time will be very high, like six hours a day, right? So they would be over here. And uh, if we went ahead and filled up this whole chart, um, that would be us giving the linear regression algorithm all of the data. Okay, so this chart is all filled up, and we could see something like this, right? And uh, let's see. Okay, so linear regression uses uh, the least squares method to calculate an error for each data point, and so. Let's assume that this line here is the prediction. This is the model that was created by the linear regression algorithm. This line right here, right? given all of the data points, these blues are all the data points. And least squares, how does that work? Well, uh, maybe I'll talk about that in the next video. But just understand that in order to find this line, given the data points, 
uh, it uses the least squares method. And I'll go into more uh, detail on that in the next video. And then it also uses uh, what's called gradient descent um, to f find the, um, the equation of this, of this line as well. So it uses least squares method and gradient descent, like in combination, um, to find this line. And, and what is this line? This line uh, is, is uh, placed in such a way that it minimizes the amount of error of, of each data point to the line. So um, let's say here the grade is a, um, I don't know, I guess maybe we could say the grade is a C right and then the prediction on how many hours it took would be right here right and so the amount of error would be this space in between the point and the line that was um, created by the model as the the um, I, I'm sorry created by the algorithm as the model okay so then here's this other data point where maybe this grade down here is a D and uh, and then this is the amount of error that is associated with the um, with the uh, with the prediction, right? So this is what it actually is, and this is what the model would predict, right? And so what this line is doing is it's trying to minimize the amount of space amongst all the data points. So for instance, if the line was way up here, let's say where my cursor is, then that means the error would be almost twice as long on this one. It'd be about equal on this one, and it'd be like five times as long on this data point here, and so that would be that would not be a a, um, a good model because it doesn't minimize the amount of error right, that's created. And so n then, if I go ahead and pop in a grade, like let's say a B up here, then I should be able to go down the line. I mean, I'm sorry, to my right until I hit the line. And then if I go down, that will tell me how many hours um, you most likely needed to, um, to go through on a daily basis in order to get that grade. Okay? And of course, this is not exact, um, but based on the data, it gives you a best estimate. And so that's what linear regression is. It's creating this line using a set of data points. And here we just show three, but in order to create a good model, you would need you know as many data points as possible, and uh, you would the, what linear regression does is it creates the model, which is this line right here that minimizes the amount of data, I mean the amount of error um, for each data point, and so or uh, amongst all the data points um, taken as a whole. And so then that allows you to make predictions based on new uh, values for the dependent variable. It gives you a, a accurate prediction for the independent variable. Um, so in the next couple of videos, I'll go over least squares method and then gradient descent.